Hello and welcome back. In between episodes, I did a little bit of fixing up my farms. As you can see here, I uh, added a few more crops here and I also moved the sugarcane over to here into a plantation style farm just to give it a little bit better of a feel than going all around this whole area and it also is much easier to harvest now. I also did a little bit of mining, not anything too big, and I got a few diamonds and a few other materials that I needed. I just was going through caves and stuff, and so yeah, I got 16 diamonds now, so the first thing I want to do is just make a few diamond tools and other things. I also just got done fighting the raid guys, like not a full raid, just a raid party, and I made sure to not actually start a raid because I am not ready for that. Hard mode raids are insane. So I want to just make a few diamond tools and uh, maybe diamond sword I think I'll make because I just want to have a little bit better tools while I'm working on stuff around the base. Now the first thing that I want to do in this episode is do a little bit more mining just to get full diamond armor and hopefully get some more building blocks so that I can work on more builds and progress my base a little bit. I'm back from mining and I got really lucky while I was down there. I think I got 27 total diamonds from a mining trip that was at most 15 minutes. I also got 14 obsidian so I can make a enchanting table and a nether portal. So I'm ready for both of those and I'm actually going to make that enchanting table right now because I want to get started on that very quickly. Looks like I need to find some leather and some paper. The paper is very easy now that I have this giant sugarcane farm. But the leather is a little bit more difficult, so I'm probably going to find two cows and then breed them and then start a cow farm instead of just going and murdering all the cows around me because I want to make a full enchanting setup, not just a basic one with just the enchanting table. So I'll be right back once I have some cows. Turns out all the villagers got trapped in this thing it looks like. So now all of my villagers are in this one pen, which really nice now I gotta actually trap them so they don't die I'm gonna get that done so this is really weird I've never seen this happen before where all the villagers just end up in one pen uh, yeah I gotta do something about this now that that's dealt with I can keep searching for cows I got a whole bunch of cows and sheep in this hole and <laughs> I just did this because it was turning night as I got them back here and now I probably should put them somewhere and if you guys have ever seen in real life how they store chickens in just these giant, like, basically aircraft hangers, I kind of want to build something like that in Minecraft for my sheep and cows. So I'm going to try to build something like that. I also got my enchanting table, so I just slightly enchanted all my stuff with base, level 1 enchants. So I'm going to try to build these hangers and see what they look like. And just, <laughs> I think it'll be kind of funny for the sheep and cows to be living in hangers. I decided to do this build as a time lapse. I think that a time lapse really encapsulates just how much work goes into one of these small builds and all the terraforming I did and I also just think that the hangar build looks super cool as a time lapse. The hangar itself is made up of a deep slate shell with a birch main build. I think the hangar ends up looking super cool overall and I hope you enjoy the rest of the time lapse and if you do let me know down in the comments and I'll continue to do them in the future. The hangar is now complete and I think that it is looking amazing and I just decided to make one hangar instead of two because I thought that this one would be plenty big and it definitely is. So I just have my cows on one side and sheep on the other and I'll slowly build up numbers and then use the cows to get leather to make bookshelves. So that's kind of the plan for now is with this is just to build up sheep and cows so that I can farm them for food and other resources that I may need. 
The next thing that I want to work on is a simple iron farm. It's just going to be using six villagers, so two iron golems, hopefully every 30 seconds. I don't know if it's going to be exactly that quick, but that does involve me going to the nether, so I'm going to get started on the farm, and then once I need the parts that I need to get from the nether, then I'll go into the nether and get those, and it, I'm not going to be spending a lot of time in the nether. I just need some quartz for daylight sensors, but I'm going to get started on ga gathering the resources for that iron farm, and I'll be back once I have some of the resources and some of the farm built. I am now to the point where I'm ready to go into the nether. I've got the two areas for the villagers and the iron golem collection chamber that goes down to here. This is just the little storage area. I haven't put in any of the hoppers or chests yet, but it's just going to come down here, and the iron will flow into chests and hoppers that are right over here. So the lava is in place. The only thing I need now is the zombies, the villagers, and the stuff from the nether. And what I need from the nether is nether quartz and a soul sand. So that's what I'm going to get. I'm just going to complete this portal because I don't see a point in making a whole new portal when there's most of one right here. So I'm going to do that. And I got the obsidian right here. And boom, a whole portal. Now I'm going to go in get that nether quartz and get the soul sand and I'll be on my way and perfect I'll take that literally just need one of that I'll grab a few more though just in case and boom some nether quartz right there that's pretty lucky I am a little nervous because I spawn in the soul sand valley and they're very dangerous but I'm just gonna collect some oh my god I forgot what the nether looks like without optifine I'm going to collect a little bit more nether quartz, finish up this iron farm, and I'll show you guys what it looks like once it's done and working properly. The iron farm is now done, and it is working. I got the six villagers up there. They were a pain, like always. Don't even get me started on moving villagers. It's so annoying. But I got all six of them in there, and I got a zombie villager, actually. And I just put a salmon head on it so that it will never burn or despawn, which is pretty cool. And a iron golem should be spawning. There we go. They spawn. They fall down here. And you guys know how the rest goes. They fall into the lava, burn, drop iron. And this one will die soon. It's just a small little sorting, or not even sorting system, just a storage system that holds the iron. So I completed that. And that is going to be the last thing I do in this episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked the video, remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.